everyone. Um, a lot of stuff has happened since I streamed last, even though I said I wouldn't do that. Um, but apparently Penguin needs test subject for something. So we're going to be a test subject for him. Very nice. Um, he's done this before, but it's essentially he is trying to, he just likes having a single frying pan with as much knockback as possible. So that's cool. Okay. No, oh, but yeah, no. So we've, I've done a fair amount since last time. Uh, well, A, we got two more people on the server, so they'll be doing stuff for five people on the server now for a, of my friends. Um, Penguin's been doing a bunch of Thalmcraft stuff and whatnot. Uh, I've done a bunch of mining. Uh, the main things I did do is we replaced the water with silver because we figured that was a bit more um, dwarfy to have just like a, a, a cascade of molten silver. Um, and I built all the machines, so there's just a wire heading back here and then under here, which provides all these machines so we can actually start working on tech stuff. We also have fluid transmitters, mag for crucible. And even though I said I was gonna wait till stream was over, like I was gonna be on stream again to set this up, I set up auto ore processing. Essentially what happens is that it splits off the ores we want when it's like doing its sorting and uh, they come over here, they get processed and they get, then they get shipped back up there and just go back along that line. Um, but, um, words, I mean things. We had enough people on the server and a lot of us were mining and we didn't want to have to manually process ore. So I was like, eh, I'll just set this up now. Cool, what'd you get for magic stuff? I didn't actually get that much magic stuff. Um, I don't know, I don't, I tend to not ask for magic stuff. I don't actually need that much stuff unless I was like, he's like, I don't want to be just like asking for like sleeves and I don't really have a use for like loose cards and most of my family knows nothing about magic, so I'm not gonna like ask for singles. <laughs> um, I don't know why I wandered out here. Um, okay, so, okay, so what are we doing today? I actually have not thought that far, in, actually no, I have far, uh, far, thought that far in advance. Talking is hard. I want a watering can. So watering cans are this really cool thing that like helps really accelerate crop growth and it's really nice, especially since we're actually not too far away from getting automated farms, whether it be Thalmcraft farms or um, the tech farms with like uh, Mine Factory Reloaded. But, okay, it requires some steel, some bone meal, a bowl, none of that is an issue, but it requires three seeds, a beet seed, a corn seed, and a kiwi seed. So we're gonna try to find these. You can breed for them, but um, that's annoying and I don't want to, um, especially since it's annoying to breed for them when you don't actually have the seeds themselves. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break open all these gardens because you can find these gardens around the world and they'll give you random Pam Service Croft uh, plant, uh, plants. Um, but, um, so we need co beet, corn, right, okay. Beet, corn, and kiwi. So we don't have any of these, right? No, we don't. Cool. The Guild Kicks, two of the Clash Packs, a few bundles, the Commander Anthology. Thing. Ooh, Commander Anthology, that's nice. Um, yeah, I know. I got the Guild Kicks for myself. I can't wait for the next ones. Um, I, most of anything I, if I ever like get like a big thing, like a Guild Kick or something, I'm usually actually spending the money I get because I do some um, like market research and stuff for wizards. Um, which if you're in this gallery, you should totally sign up for because it's rad. Um, um, but essentially, I, yeah, that's pretty much the only time I actually like um, buy big things for magic because I can't justify like buying booster boxes and stuff. Okay, any of here we need? Beets, corn, kiwi. Peas, chili peppers, okras, beans, pills, everything. Okay, cool. We also might be going on a journey all over the world to get these. Okay, spice leaf, celery, tea leaf, 
uh, corn or coffee beans, spice, leaf, garlic, mustard seeds, ginger. Okay, we got tea though, which is useful because tea is delicious and tea is wonderful. Um, um, some berries, that's actually not that helpful for us in general. Corn, kiwi, beets. Okay, tropical garden, anything? Ooh, kiwi, that's what we need, we need a kiwi. Leafy gardens. We got spinach, broccoli, lettuce. Okay, so no beets and no corn. Um, corn, I believe, is from grass gardens, which we can grab later. Um, which, um, okay, we're gonna just go throw all this stuff in the sorting system. Um, I also made a lot more speed upgrades, so this actually runs at a decent speed. And we're going to go on a quest. And it's very likely that we might have to, like, breed for some of these. Like, beets is, like, radish plus carrots. Radish is tomatoes plus Brussels sprouts. Uh, cabbage and peas. You can see it gets it pretty far, but if we just collect a lot of these plants in general, it'll be faster. Oh, we should also check our actual seeds themselves. So also corn is rye plus barley, but corn actually I, I think is pretty easy to find. Tomato, rye, celery, bamboo shoot, asparagus, artichoke. Okay, none of those are we need. But we might find those seeds in some of the villages. Yeah, I know, it's just one of these where it's like, my main formats are Commander and, um, and Limited. And while I love Limited, I don't have a use for, I don't have, like, a full group of, like, five other people, which is pretty much, like, the minimum you need to, like, fire a draft for, like, with, like, physical packs and stuff. So it's like, I don't really have a use for packs. I mean, okay, I have a use for packs when it comes to, like, I can do, like, pack opening videos and stuff, which is cool, and I like doing them. But it's not something I'm not going to go out of my way to spend money on. Um, apart from like, unless I'm buying a box to like get go live and stuff. Also just for Christmas, it's like I'm not going to ask for a booster box from a lot of my family. It's just beyond a lot of the, what my family does for presents and whatnot. Um, there is a lot of stuff underground around here. Um... All right, we're looking for these gardens which spawn, um, as well as villages. We should probably actually just go towards the village. Because I believe this one I haven't fully explored and might have a greenhouse. Um, but yeah, I know it's like, I'll pick up like maybe a commander deck or two during the year, but even like a commander deck, they're kind of expensive to have as presents. Cause like at 40 bucks, it's like, that's, that's beyond, um, I mean, at least what I would spend on a present for someone, unless it was like a, nice, a significant other. Also, it's kind of hard to find the commander decks at this point of the year. Oops, that's a creeper. Oops. Okay, um, and let's explore this. Um, what happened there? Who knows? I'm assuming this place has been cleared out. Yeah, but I'll take this chest. People, when you like, clear out a chest, just remove the chest so people know that it's been cleared out. Okay, that's been somewhat cleared out. So cauliflower, okay, white mushroom, garlic, okra, 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 seeds, coffee, seeds, coffee, coffee, mustard, eggplant, eggplant, seeds, spinach, curry, thing, cool. Okay, we're gonna have a bunch of, okay, let's. Oh, let's, oh God. Okay, no. Jeez, is it just like Creeper Central here? Uh, can I see? Okay, yeah, there's another greenhouse down there. But before we go back, I'm actually gonna grab some uh, immersive engineering crates. Hey there, how's it going? I gotta say, whenever like someone like refers to me as sister, like in the um in chat, it's like I always do a double take and make sure it's like not my actual sister being like, Amy, what why are you watching my stream? Because she does watch my streams, but she just never comments. Also like, Amy, why are you watching my streams? You're supposed to be like going out to a play right now. <laughs> no. One of these days I'll actually get her on camera. Yeah. 
that said, like, 2018 actually things is a little bit easier because, like, it wasn't as high demand, um, because, which I think, I, I don't dislike 2018, but it's just, like, it wasn't, like, the ball, like, knocked out of the ballpark of, like, a lot of the past years were, where they just sold out quickly. Or at least of 2018, they, um, you can still find them at least, which is nice, and not, like, at a huge markup. Um... But yeah, no, it's just like when I'm saying, like, for the most part, it's like, I just want singles and stuff. Because, um, even for like commander decks nowadays, it's like a lot of the, the value in them are like, like a lot of the stock reprints for like commander stables, things like Felwar saw stones and soul rings and things like that. And I just don't need those because I, um, because I have a cube now and I only really need one of any given card. Like I don't need the duplicates. I mean, granted, said I can use the duplicates for other things, but... Right, let's pop you all away and get you back. Okay, we're still on the hunt for corn and beets. Cool. But we're going to grab some of, nope, tech mods. You, wooden sword traits. These we can put stuff in and pick up and it'll be like last later. So it'll it just expand our inventory quite a bit. And I could just like build actual bags and stuff, but I don't feel like using actual bags. The store traits also have the benefits where I can just knock out this crate, put the crate that's full of stuff, and they'll automatically just store it in my system. I don't have to transfer them manually. It's a penguin. Penguin's just been like rushing Thalmcraft research. No, I need to get people together now that it's after Christmas. I need to poke my friends to be like, Yo, people, come hang out now that people are starting to become less busy because it's not the holidays anymore. We need a cube, because cube is great, and cube is wonderful, and Commander Cube is, like, my favorite format, and I don't get to play it as much as I'd like to, because Commander Cube is rad. Like, I've been doing a lot of, like, videos on it, and I'm definitely going to keep doing videos on Commander Cube, because I think more people need to make, play Commander Cube. Um, I do just need to, do just need to do a series on, um, like, how do you get start making your own commander cube? But, um, yeah, here I am talking about magic, even though I'm not even, I'm doing a playing Minecraft. Um, so yeah, so essentially we're going back here and we're going to go raid the rest of its seeds. And then we're going to go raid the next place to get more seeds and we're going to get more seeds and crops and stuff because yeah, I don't want to have to actually manually breed stuff until I actually have the watering cam itself. Which, but we're doing this to get the watering can, so... Okay, so the next one's over there. I personally have not raided this village yet. Um, but I think some friends might have. Also, let me see if Discord wants to behave yet. It wasn't loading for me earlier. Aww. Ooh, gold. I'll take a side trip to get some extra gold because gold is super valuable, especially since like our next, um, I right, discord still going. Rad. Thanks. Um, our next like major goal that will like really be the next like paradigm shift for like the base itself will be, um, a logistics system. Um, yeah, no, totally. It's like, I'll pick up like singles that are like cheap and stuff and I don't mind picking up singles, but it's like, I don't want to like get like the, the, it, I really should have just like asked for like, Hey, just get me a Mox gift card. Cause I can pick up like singles there. Um, but at the same time, it's just like, I don't want to ask for just like a gift card. So I just shy away from magic stuff. I got a bunch of other stuff. Um, I got a bunch of D and D stuff cause I hadn't actually filled out my like 5e D and D collection. I wasn't up to date yet. Because I just also just haven't invested in 5e that much because I don't play, like, I do play 5e, but I DM 5e. And, um, besides, like, uh, the mod, like, you don't, the, a lot of the supplements you don't need as a DM. So. Um, uh, okay, v shrimp seeds, okay, what did we just get? Radish, okay, don't care. Coffee seeds, cauliflower, mystic green flower, thing. Your garlic, 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 v-shroom, okra, white tulip, cauliflower, pumpkin, mystic red flower, 
bamboo, cauliflower, cauliflower, white tulip, white mushroom. I'll put you all away. This is definitely going to like just jam up our system, but that's fine. Now that you're done, you can go away there. Um, light orange flower. Okay, so far not not super hopeful on what we need. Um, but I mean, we'll be like at least some of these will have like will be on the other artichoke, tomato, Mr. Orange flower, celery. Like at least we don't have to breed with these in the future. Especially these mystic flowers. Mystic flowers are rad because it lets you just directly grow the um, botanical stuff. Um, I haven't actually played Magic and Paper like besides like at like going to like a game store in months. I think the last one was Ravnica, Guild of Ravnica release weekend. Um, okay, you go away. I'll grab you. Hey, Dan Quelton. How's it going? Um, okay, what am I looking for? So that's it for this place. So there's a village all the way back down there, um, but that's like very far away. And there's a village up here, but I think our best bet will be actually going back over up to the mining dimension. So I'm gonna just meander back to the base and we're gonna hop to the mining dimension. Cause the mining dimension will spawn a bunch of really large, um, Ooh, also, here are some gorge gardens. Is beets one of the things we need? Yes, we got beets. So all we need now is, oh, no, is kiwi. No, we got kiwi. Corn. Okay, so we instead, okay, plan B. Uh, we're not gonna go to the mining dimension because it's not needed anymore. Because corn is actually probably one of the easiest ones to actually find. Because um, corn, you can obtain, this is the wrong side of the, we're going to the wrong place. Corn um, is found in grass gardens, and grass gardens are just found in like plains biomes where it's like easiest to find these sort of things. So yeah, but we are just gonna also gonna run by the base because we need to um, uh, just drop off some some stuff and whatnot. Cool. I'm not trying to, okay, what does a grass garden look like? Grass garden, it looks like that. So it's like a yellowy, like kind of like wheat look. Cool. Um, and then we'll be able to make a whatchamacallit. And by whatchamacallit, I mean a whatchamacallit. Um, actually, we don't need to drop by the base. We can just go out. Um, actually, no, I want, I want a, ooh, I should make a horn of the wild. We'll make a well, yeah. We'll make a detour to make a horn of the wild because that thing is rad, especially for what we're doing here. Um, although we do actually before we go back to the base, because we will need to stop by our V pool, which is annoyingly very far away. I should really not be like breaking the um, non grass gardens because we don't actually need the stuff in them. Like we just just ended up filling up our inventory. Also, I'll probably overflow the Pam's chest, and I'll probably need to like reset the Pam's chest. But you know what? It's fine. Um, can we have shears? Can we have shears? Because um, one thing we need to make a horn of the wild is pasture seeds. Pasture seeds, which you just throw grass into a mana pool. Gourd garden. Gourd garden. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Gourd garden. Um, you can right click the gardens to just pick them up. I won't mind an extra spider eye. If I can get a spider eye. Ooh, yeah, I got a spider eye. Look at me. I'm so pro. I know what spiders drop. Oh, get away. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so gotta keep swimming back this way. As I make a detour, getting something that I don't actually need, but will help, hopefully. And we're actually probably going to want to build like an actual like farm area. 
in the in the base um or at least like an initial farm area because i do also want to get like a proper food source going because we don't actually have that much like food going on besides i've just been drinking blueberry juice which is not the best food primus location still doing good okay got much faster seeds and now we get to run back um eventually we're gonna actually have a real cart going underground over to this primus location so that'll be nice um, we're also, I was also looking at a system because you can actually put a mana pool on a minecart to fill up a mana pool on a minecart, send it all the way back and have that like send back to the base and like just have the Primus location like s supplying like a, a mana, uh, a, 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 whatchamacallit, a, a mana pool like back at the base. So, um, like it's fed the Primus location. We could also go to other Primus locations. Uh, that's a lot of chunks that need to be loaded though, but I mean we have lots of people that can load the chunks. I think this isn't the worst server. No, I am. Do just lots of running. I wish I had a soldier or sash, but they're kind of expensive. And my friend, I'm not really doing the magic stuff. I'm mostly doing the tech stuff, although I'm taking, like the food tree is kind of like this like small like tree like there's like three main there's like two main progression paths there's the tech path and the, the magic path where like they're those are all super intertwined um hey Lou, for the little minecraft and minecraft was it's tp different i don't know you, what you mean by tp i'm probably just being stupid but Oh, we need more living world, which is not too hard to get, but, um, uh, do some dark oak. Oh, I mean different. Oh yeah, no, it's, it is almost an entirely different game. Like some things will be the same, like that you have to do, but it's like the goals and everything is completely different. It's a different, completely different paradigm of what you're doing. Like a lot of the, the core mechanics are the same and familiar, but. All right, let's, um, let's overload our chests. Cause like, how is our seed chest doing? Seed chest is doing rough. Uh, Pam's chest is already overloaded. Okay, let's just upgrade you to gold. Cause having you as a gold chest will be a necessity regardless um i can make an upgrade we'll just check our overflow chest in general okay got you biomes of plenty you're a vanilla -like mod um build bc factory is a tech mod um i need to upgrade a lot of these chests to gold natura okay you are Plants. And you're a mob drop. And seeds, you're fine. Okay, Pam's, Pam's though needs to be overflowed. Although it has a bunch of, there's a bunch of Pam's seeds that can go. That's it, we'll probably be reducing a lot of the number of seeds because once we like analyze everything and like get it all um, sorted out, it'll be a lot less, um, there'll be lots of seeds because we have a lot of just bad seeds and I'll probably have a new like seed sorting system when I actually get into like proper crop breeding and stuff. Come on, go faster. At least we can check on our living rock, living wood, which should be converted by now. I haven't focused on like getting lots of this or automating it because I'm not really doing Batania that much. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like some other people have like, like kind of staked their claim on like what they want to be doing in terms of, um, We got a horn of the wild, yay. In terms of like what they want like their specialty specialty to be on the server. But um I haven't thought about that, that much. I kinda like do a little bit of everything. No. That is one thing though. Our our group does have a good balance of like what we like to do. 
And we'll make a chest upgrade. You have to make these in the laser table in this pack, but um. <laughs> oh, well, I am glad. I mean, I, I know very little about aircraft carriers, except I've been on one, I think, like at Seafair. Or because at like Seafair in Seattle, like every, every year they'll have like um, a bunch of like ships and stuff out. And Okay, this will most definitely like overflow, but um, I don't care. It's faster than, I'll fix, I'll unjam the system later. She says she won't unjam the system later. It's, it's a trap. I'm the only one who unchamps the system. I'm the only one who keeps anything working in this base. Everyone else just kind of is there and ruins everything. I hope none of them are watching because I'm being mean. Okay, so that's empty. That'll empty out, but we don't actually care because that will be the replacement chest for that. So now we need to, we have this horn, which is this really cool horn. Oh, we lost our sleeping bag at some point. I think it got sorted into the system, which is, useful for going out and about because we don't want to just be stuck in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. Um, there you go. Cool. Oh, and that seed chest is, is very full. I'll just put you in unsorted because otherwise you just won't be there. Gold gravel ore. I should probably like add to the actual programming of like being like, hey, you need to process this stuff because it's different than normal gold ore. But um, you don't get it that much, and I'll probably program it in for the, um, we switch it over to a logistic system, but I'm not going to do that yet. The logistic system when you are ore processing will probably be its own area, and it's actually one thing that's interesting, is that because the logistic system for ore processing will actually be the same ore processing system that we use for our AE system. Because one thing I do for when we switch to apply to logistics is that, um, right, this is the awesome thing that the Horn of the Wild does. It just breaks every grass in a wide area. And also, I made myself a ring of magnetization because ring of magnetization is awesome and I can't live without it. Yeah. I mean, you don't need it for this thing, but I remember that it existed and it was tangently important for what we were doing, so I got myself one. Okay, I'm already bored. Let's just go to the mining dimension and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, get there. I think, although I think that actually, theoretically, we should actually be able to get um, grass gardens in the mining dimension. I think that's one of the types of gardens. Oh, a leafy garden. No. But yeah. Do, 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 do. I need to be better about uploading these videos. I've only uploaded one of these uh, these Minecraft streams to YouTube yet. Um, but I just haven't had a chance because I've been home all the time because it's been the holidays. It's also been, been terrible weather and things like that where it's like, normally I like to do like big uploads like when I'm like out of the house and stuff like that. All right, so let us go to the first village here. Welcome to the mining dimension. It's flat forever. And most importantly, um, it spawns a lot of villages because it's flat. Okay, does this even have a, it does not. All right. Well, we're off on adventure. One thing that's faster is actually riding a hang glider. We're just like jumping and then hang gliding. Yes, um, also that is the worst system. It'll only get more organized from here. Yeah, well, this is say more functional, maybe not more organized, it'll be more complex. Oh, just wait till we get into logistics routing. Oh, I love logistics pipes so much. It's the best. Okay, where is... We're on a village hunt. This looks dumb, and it is dumb, but it is faster. <laughs> it also is a lot easier on my food levels. And I don't actually have that much juice left. Um... So copper I'll stop at for, because copper, you always need more copper in this pack, like until, until you get to like an actual quarry up and running and at which point you have more ores and you know what to do with a lot of the standard ores. Um, yeah. Okay, 
normally I found I would have found a village by now. Oh, look, more gra gold gravel ore. I'll take you definitely, because gold is always needed. Um, one thing we're gonna need a lot of for a logistics system is gold and chip sets. So probably actually I'll probably start like making all the gold and iron chip sets we need after this episode and just kind of like leave them to be running on the laser table. The thing is, is just at this stage of the game because we don't have that much power, it just takes forever.